All right, this is the Fantasy Sports Boss. It is Wednesday, and we got a lot to talk about here on Wednesday. The first injury report came out today, so I'm going to do a live stream this afternoon, probably between either 5 or 5.30. So make sure you look for the notification and join us. Uh, over 1,000 subscribers now. Again, guys, thank you very much. I'm still waiting for the approval for the uh, for the new bells and whistles that will come with the channel. Uh, so I'm hoping, hoping that comes through any day now. But uh, for today... I want to talk about Hollywood Brown because uh, the 21-day window of him coming off the uh, injured list was open today, and Cliff Kingsbury, the head coach of the Cardinals, even suggested that Brown could return on Monday. Now, this is great news, potential great news for uh, Brown's fantasy football owners who, you know, after the first couple of weeks of the season where Brown was really finding his way in the offense, exploded, like double-digit targets every week for the, uh, for the majority of one month. Uh, he, he looked like an absolute stud wide receiver one in PPR leagues. You know, there was a lot of positive projections on him coming into the season, you know, coming over from a run heavy offense in Baltimore to a pass happy uh, offense in Arizona under Kingsbury. And all those projections right on par. In fact, they might've even been a little modest. That's how good Brown was playing before he got injured. Um, <clears throat> now, of course, uh, you know, the injury put a, a massive, um, uh, cap or, or, um, you know, a ceiling on the the season totals that Brown's going to wind up accumulating. But on a per-game basis, there were very few receivers in all of fantasy football who were uh, as impactful as, as Brown was before he got injured. Now, with an, a possible uh, return Monday night, uh, at the very least, he will return in the next two games. Now, the, there is risk for the Cardinals playing on Monday night, of course, if you're a Brown owner. And, and really, the the smart play would be to wait until Week 12 to put him back out there. Because even if he does return Monday night for Week 11, uh, a snap count is a is a possibility and probably a likelihood as well. And the Cardinals really, you know, they, they, they're well stocked with uh, DeAndre Hopkins, who, of course, was uh, on suspension at the time when Brown was doing his thing, putting up wide receiver numbers wide receiver one numbers. Uh, Hopkins is back in the fold now and is putting up his own wide receiver numbers, um, wide receiver one numbers on a weekly basis. Rondale Moore looking like a top end wide receiver three, maybe even a lower end wide receiver two, getting double digit targets uh, the last three weeks, looking like a star in his own right. Uh, so, you know, the, the, the cards are certainly not desperate for Brown, but they certainly could use him, especially after the season ending injury, knee injury suffered by Zach Ertz. Uh, he's officially out for the season. Now, I said this on the live stream yesterday. Um, <clears throat> I've gotten this question a lot. When Marquise Brown does return, is he going to be the top receiver or is it going to be Hopkins? Um, my answer to that is that Hopkins will remain the wide receiver one in this offense, but Brown will be the wide receiver too. So Hopkins, uh, the most skilled out of the three players. He's got the, the longest resume, obviously, perennial pro bowler. Uh, looks like he has not lost any step whatsoever as he's just came out like gangbusters off the suspension. He's been a wide receiver one every week, um, pretty much every week. So I think he still retains the top spot. But Marquise Brown will be a wide receiver too in all fantasy football leagues when he does return to full duty. And then Rondell Moore, with a healthy Zach Ertz, I was concerned about Rondell Moore dropping to flex uh, territory, maybe even bench territory. But now I have him still squarely in the wide receiver th uh, three realm. Uh, due to uh, Ertz's absence, so Moore will scoop up a lot of those targets that Ertz was getting. I know, um, you know, the the they have Trey McBride, who certainly caught a lot of passes in college, but um, I'm not sure the Cardinals are going to fully unveil him just yet. Um, you know, uh, he still is a rookie, and and tight end position is a tough one for rookies to learn, as we've seen over the years. So again, Marquise Brown, good news. The return is imminent. With all these bad injury news happening lately with Cooper Cup and Dallas Goddard, we got some good injury news for those who have held stock in him to this point. All right, hit that subscribe, hit that notification button. Make sure you tune in for the live stream later on today.